Hi everyone, it's Aika and for today's video, I will be showing you how I edit my Instagram photos. So as you can see in my feed right now, I don't really have a specific theme to it or I don't really put the same preset in every photo just because I, I feel like it looks a little unnatural if it all looks the same. I try to make my photos look as natural as possible and yeah, it's really easy. The steps I do can be done by anyone. I'm not even kidding. Anyone can do it because it's like a beginner friendly type of tutorial. And yeah, a lot of you guys wanted to see this. Please don't mind me like reading from my phone right now just because I typed down all the notes that I want to share with you guys just so I don't forget anything. Normally, I would use the Photos app. I know, it's so basic. Like, I don't think anybody uses the Photos app, but I do just because it's really easy and really convenient. If you don't have Wi-Fi, you can just easily edit your photos in the Photos app. And the second app I use is Snapseed. And the third one is PixArt. So here in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I edit my photos and how to kind of like make the background look a little neater. You all have those photos where the background looks really messy or there's like people in the background. I'm gonna show you guys how to remove those extra stuff going on in the background just because it doesn't look nice sometimes. So yeah, I'm gonna teach you guys that in this video, okay? Okay. I'm gonna pop my screen here just so I can show you guys how I edit and we are gonna start with the photos app. So this is the first photo and as you can see it's really really dark and you just can't see my face well because it's being covered by a shadow so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put up the exposure a little bit and then with the brilliance this really helps with the color of the photo so I'm gonna put it up a little bit as well. It also makes the photo look a little lighter and the highlights okay so with the highlights I like to put it down yeah I know it's dark already but I like the highlights to be down just so the normal or the natural colors of the photo will pop up and the shadows I like to put it up just to get rid of it to make the photo look a lot brighter and to just remove the darkness of the photo I also like to put the contrast down for the brightness I like to put it a little bit up but not too much because I find that when I play with the brightness like when I put it really high it loses the color really quick so I just put it up a little bit I love to put up the vibrance to make the colors and the blue tones pop up a little bit as well okay so for the sharpness so this kind of makes the photo a little more high quality so I like to put a little bit up and the definition a little bit as well so as you can see I did a lot using the photos app like this is the before and this is the after so now I'm gonna show you guys how I edit my photos using Snapseed and this is the photo that I'm gonna edit I'm just gonna open the app this is also a free app that anyone can download in the App Store which is nice because I don't like paying for apps. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna crop it because I want it to be square. I think it looks a lot better with this photo. And then I'm gonna adjust the brightness a little bit. And as you can see the photo looks okay on its own but I like to do minor tweaks just to make it how I want it to be. I'm also gonna put down the contrast a little bit just because the greenness at the back looks really exposed. I'm also gonna put down the ambience because it looks really bright and colorful and I want it to look soft. And also I'm gonna put some grain. So with the grain, I'm gonna put the style strength to zero just because I like the grain lang, not the style of it. It kind of makes the photo a little vintagey or kind of low quality but you meant it to be that way. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it just so it looks cuter. So this is how the photo looks like. This is the before and this is the after. I don't know why but rotating it kind of gives it that aesthetic feel. So the next photo I'm gonna edit is a selfie and as you can see I took this under the sun which means that my blemishes are a little more prominent than usual. So what I do is I play with the details of it. I like to put down 
the structure a little bit so it looks a lot smoother now and I like to sharpen it after putting down the structure and then I'm just gonna play with the details so I'm gonna put down the brightness a little bit then the contrast as well so for this photo I'm gonna put up the highlight a little bit and that's it it's really easy guys this is how I edit most of my selfies so for this photo I want the background to be all white so what I'm gonna do to make that happen is to use the healing tool you can also use this to remove people from the background or to remove like certain words if you don't want it to be there but for this I'm just gonna play with it so for this next photo the background looks really messy and it looks really dark so I'm just gonna edit it using the photos app first I'm gonna put the exposure up a little bit the brilliance as well the highlights down the shadows up to make it look brighter and then I'm gonna crop it just because I don't like the house at the back so I'm gonna crop it a little bit the bush at the side of the photo doesn't really look appealing at all I'm gonna open PixArt and this is where the magic begins guys it's really easy to do I'm gonna make the background look nice and clean. So for this one, I'm gonna go to the tools section and then pick the clone tool. So I'm just gonna put the circle here to where I want the background to look like. So I want it to be like all bush. And then I'm gonna drag it to the ones I wanna change. So I'm gonna make the circle look a little small just because I want to tackle this area right here. Okay, so this is how the photo looks like now. It looks a lot better than the one a while ago. I'm also gonna show you how I plan my Instagram feed. So the app I use is Unum and it's a free app you can download. This is my feed right now. And then I can add some photos here at the top of the photos that I wanna add in the future so I can just rearrange it to see how I want it to be. This is perfect if you want your profile to have a specific theme or if you want the photos to look nice beside each other. You can definitely like play around with the photos here. So for this part of the video, I want to share with you guys some tips on how I like to take my photos. So normally, I don't really like to take it in the morning and I don't like to take it early in the afternoon what I like to do is I like to open the weather app and check what time sunset is I usually go out an hour before sunset just so I can get that golden hour picture we all want that golden hour look because it makes everything look better like your skin looks glowing and it's just overall really pretty another tip into getting that golden hour effect is by using snapshot and turning on the flash I like to overexpose my face and then take the photo and this one gives you the glass skin look and it also gives some hint of that golden R effect which is really really easy to do and you just have to face where the lighting hits so it gives it that overexposed effect. So that is it for today's video and those are all the steps that I do into editing my pictures. I know it's really easy if you expected more from this video I'm really sorry but that's all I do actually like anyone can do it I'm sure and all the apps that I used were free if you have any video recommendations or requests just leave them down below or you can even message me on Instagram if you have any questions yeah I hope you guys are all having a great day and I'll see you all on my next video bye guys <laughs>